do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, y'all, we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today, I don't know what the heck we're watching, honestly. This video literally says this girl accidentally has been dating this man for a year. I don't know if I told if I if I told you if I knew what the heck was about to happen inside this video, I'd be a freaking liar. But I'm very curious to see what the heck happens in this video because this video has like five million views on TikTok, so it's obviously something good. Without further ado, man, let's just hop right into it. I ain't finna do too much talking. Smash the freaking like button. Let's go. I have apparently been dating my best friend for an entire year but didn't know until today. <clears throat> this is going to be such a suffering from successful post, but bear with me for a second. I've known him for five years, different classes and courses but same friend group. Over time, he has genuinely become one of the best people I know, and it's only getting better every day. I can't lie and say he's not my type, nerdy, charming, sweet, funny, flirty with the right amount of awkward. He comes pick me up from class, plays hockey without being a douchebag to the skaters, and most importantly, gets treats for my cat. Multiple strangers have mistaken us for a couple, even close people like our friends, professors, and worst of all, my family. He's kind worst of, of all? What? <laughs> Imagine somebody talking about you and they talking about him, worst of all, I, my family thinks that you're my significant other. Knife to the heart there, that's sad. Perfect, but I've never even thought of putting the moves on him. He's never shown romantic interest in me. We're friends, nothing more. Or that's Girls don't I be known when to do one thing. Let's be honest here. Like, girls never know when to do one's them. Let's really be honest here. Like, dudes out there, you know when someone likes your girl. You know that. And dudes be like, bro, we're just friends. He's just, he's the brother. If brother freaking liked incest, yeah. We're friends, nothing more. Or that's what I thought. Today, he was spending the afternoon at my dorm, something he started about a year now. We're laying on my bed mindlessly watching Sonic cartoons when he says, verbatim, so, baby. Where do you want to go this Friday? Matter of fact, this is the first time I've been called baby by him, so that kind of shocked me. What? Instead of asking why, I froze and was just like, what's happening Friday? He turns to me and kisses me, again, first time thing with us, hugs my waist and goes our one year anniversary idiot. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm making reservations. At this point, I'm frozen. I genuinely don't know what to say. I'm gobsmacked. The dude I thought was my best friend, who never even showed interest in the dating thing, is under the idea that we've been dating for a whole year. Okay, something ain't adding up here. Something's not adding up here. It's either she's doing, showing more signs of affection towards this man than she's letting on to, or the dude is crazy. But he he says, that he, they about to celebrate their one year anniversary. Congrat <laughs> Congratulations for them. But if this is their first time kissing, and if this is his first time calling her baby, then... They must not been doing that much for it to be considered them dating for the past year. Yeah, so I'm not adding up, but I don't know what it is. I'm silent while he continues hugging me and scrolling on his phone, racking my brain thinking about what to tell him when his phone starts ringing. It's his mom, which he puts on speaker and she deadass goes hi. Are you still with your girlfriend? Oh, so now his mom thinks we're dating too? He tells her yes, asks why she called. She asks for his help with private stuff I will not divulge here, he turns to me and goes, sorry, I'll be back in a bit, sweetheart. I just nodded. I was just like, all right, see you in a bit. No questions, no screaming, Wait, what? just acceptance. He gets up to put on his sneakers and leans down to kiss me again, which I just accept at this point. Okay, first of all, if you not date, why you just get, like let him kiss you? That's pretty weird. One time is, is like, okay, dang, you caught me off guard. The second time, it's like, you like this. You 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 dating. I think y'all are dating. They probably, this is what I'm thinking inside their head, right? They probably celibate, right? And if you kiss, it kind of makes you want to do the other stuff. So they're celibate. And they probably talked about this before. So that's why they haven't kissed before. But at this point, he doesn't want to be celibate no more. He's giving her the sign. We about to clap. You know what I'm saying? He said, clap time. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's basically what's probably happening. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. It's not making sense. It's a nice kiss besides the fact that my mind is somewhere else. He so you liked I it. I get a text from his coach tell him to come tomorrow at 19. He'll only listen if it's you the F you mean only me. You're the responsible adult tasked with training these hockey players. Wait, wait, what? What, what Depend happened? on me bring that my mind is somewhere else. He leaves and I get a text from his coach tell him to come tomorrow at 19. He'll only listen if it's you the F you mean only me. You're the responsible adult tasked with training these hockey players. Why do you depend on me bringing him to you? 
but that led me to a rabbit hole of finding out who knows we're dating. Apparently, majority of the people I talk to think we're dating, and have just never mentioned it to me. I don't think it's a prank solely on the fact that his mom called me his girlfriend. They don't have the closest relationship. She is a very traditional, conservative and religious Korean woman. Always serious and does not play around. Okay, so when he's been telling he he's been telling everybody that they date. And she's been like, no, that's not my man. Y'all tripping. And he's like, yeah, that's my that's my baby girl. That's my queen right there. That's my ride or die. That's the one. That's what he's been saying. He's saying, I'm finna put a baby in her. And she's like, I don't even know this man for real. That her son did not agree with many of her opinions. She stopped caring for him to the fullest, only keeping it civil for the rest of the family and friends. There's nothing he could have done to have her go along with something like this, especially when she wants him to marry young with a nice Korean girl, which I'm not. Also, he just does not seem like the guy to play with people like this. He might be dumb and oblivious, but not horrible. I don't know what to do now. I mean, he's a great guy, don't get me wrong. And if the last five years are anything to go by, he would be a great boyfriend. Wait, wait, so... even in the future a husband. But, I've never looked at him that way. So I can't say I love him. But he, she's... Pause real quick. And some, somebody let me know in the comments down below. They've been... Didn't he say this is our one-year anniversary? But they've known each other for five years? So what happened at that fourth year that she's not talking about? You know what I'm saying? What's happening on that first year that, that she's not talking... I mean, that fourth year that she's not talking about that would make that the starting day of them dating in his head. Something happened. She's not being... Honest, something freaking happened. When this occurred, it was like the glass shattered and I saw how differently he looked at me, how he talked and acted, stuff that never changed since the beginning but for some reason I've never noticed. I can't sit here and pretend I love him like that. I wasn't thinking about him in that sense all Dang, this time. Dang, you better get to it because you can't I'm hurt his feelings side. now. I don't want to hurt him. He clearly thinks we've been together for that long so he has to have strong feelings for me. Yeah, you can't hurt him. And I don't want him. to step on them and scar him like that. I can't just keep dating him though, something that I've apparently been doing for a year. I could learn to love him eventually. It wouldn't take much to be honest, but it wouldn't be fair to him or me. In my defense, who dates someone and just does not ask them about it? If the roles were reversed and a year ago something happened where I was like I love him, this was probably a date, we're probably dating right now I would have confirmed with him or at the very least said something for the following year, not only at the one year mark. I just don't know what to do. I'm scared and angry, disappointed in myself for not recognizing the situation sooner. Feel like I'm stuck between the sword and the wall. Last thing I want is to hurt him, but I also don't want to lie to him. How should I go on about this with him? Okay, boom, bada boom, bada bing. This is what you got to do, right? So basically, right, you can't, <laughs> you can't break his heart and be like, I didn't know he was dating this whole time. Because then for the rest of his life, every time he's dating some girl, he's going to be like, wait, so you know we're dating, right? You sure we're dating, you, we're dating right? Five years down the line, we're, da we're dating, we're boyfriend and girlfriend, right? This is how he's going to be in every relationship because you scarred him like that. Instead, you have to make up some mischievous plan to break up with him. You need to catch him cheating with his mom. You just explained to him that, you know what I'm saying? That's bad, actually. But if you did, you just explained that he doesn't really have a close relationship with his mom. So maybe his mom... He, you can make it seem like his mom is like some 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 lady, some random person that he's clapping. You know what I'm saying? And be like, who was this in your phone? And it's titled mom. But you send messages from another. You have to send it from his mom's. You pretend to be another girl and catch him cheating on Instagram. And then you break up with him because he's a cheater and a liar and he's ugly. That's how you got to do it. You can't just say I didn't know we were dating. You got to really hurt his feelings. You got to, because that's the only way he won't be scarred for life. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. I, I think you both are stupid. I'm, personally, me personally, I think they're both stupid just due to the fact that how do you not know that you're dating someone for the past year? She's stupid for that. And he's stupid for he's never kissed her before the whole year they were dating or called her like baby or, or bae or, or none of that the whole the whole year. Like, I think they're both stupid. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. What would make this, like, okay? What would have happened on that one year, that four-year mark where it was like, okay, this, we're dating. But then for her, it might not have came out as we're dating. Like, what did he say or do? Like, what? I don't know. I'm freaking confused. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. That's the end of the video. You know, I made a joke about her her making it seem like he was dating his 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 mom. But this video, this person was actually dating their mom. Watch it. It's literally right there. Just, just watch it. It's freaking crazy. Ridiculously crazy. That's all I'm saying. I ain't going to spoil it too much. But that's the end of the video. I'm going to see y'all.
out.